This is my age. In this session, we are going to see examples of permutation and combination. Okay, let's get started. The first question is, in how many ways can the letters of the word detail be arranged in such a way that the vowels occupy only the even portion? So, in how many ways you can arrange the word detail? So, if there is no repetition means detail can be arranged in six factorial ways because there are six letters, six factorial ways that we know earlier itself. But here the question is, the vowel should be occupy only the even portion. So, if how many spaces will be there? Six letters means six spaces will be there. Even question is two, four and six. Those say even questions only occupied by vowels. So, which means we have to find what are the vowels out there and then how many, in how many ways it can occupy in the even questions and all. So, first thing is how many letters are there? Six letters. And then what are the letters are there as vowel in detail? What are the vowels are there? E, A and I. So, E, A and I. Which all are the even questions in these six? This is first even question, second even question and third even question. So, in these three places, these three letters will be placed. Three places are there, three letters are there. How many ways you can arrange? Very simple. The answer is three factorial ways. Three letters, three means three factorial ways, which is nothing but this can be said as three places and three numbers should be placed. In permutation, 3p3, which is nothing but three factorial. 3p3 means you will expand three. Three should be reduced three times, which is equal to exactly equal to three factorial. When it comes to the remaining letters, what are the remaining letters are there? D and T and L. How many letters are there? Again three. So, which is also three factorial ways. So, total answer is three factorial is six and three factorial is six. Six into six, 36 ways. Okay. 3P3, both 3P3. So, 3P3 is nothing but three factorial. That is why I have mentioned that. Okay. In this case also, three letters are there, three odd portions are there. This is arranged in three factorial ways. Then, the even questions will be occupied by vowels. That can be also in three factorial ways. So, three factorial, when you expand three factorial, three into two into one, which is nothing but six. Six into six, 36 ways. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. In how many ways can the letters of the word signature be arranged in such a way that the vowels occupy only odd questions? The only difference between these two questions is so vowels should occupy in even questions here occupy in odd questions. Okay. How many letters are there? We know that there are 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 letters are there. So 9 spaces will be there. Out of which odd questions. Which are our odd question? This is first odd question. Second and third fourth and fifth. How many odd questions are there? Five odd questions are there. The remaining are even questions. Five odd questions. How many vowels are there? That is what I have to check. So we have to check how many vowels are there. So I is a vowel and comma. Next A is a vowel. Next U is a vowel and E is a vowel. So there are four vowels are there. And then what are the remaining letters? S, G, N, T, R. So totally remaining five letters are there. Here we have only four vowels. How many odd questions we have? We have five odd questions. So four vowels will be placed in these five odd questions. So five positions out there, four members. How will you place five P? Four. Okay. And then remaining how many places will be there? Once you place four letters, remaining five spaces will be there. In those five spaces, these five letters will be arranged. Five places and five letters. In how many ways you can arrange? Five factorial ways. That's it. And you write this into five factorial ways. That's the answer. 5P4. How will you expand 5P4? 5 should be reduced four times. So, which is nothing but 5 into 4 into 3 into 
So that's it. Four times I have already. And five factorial is nothing but one twenty. When you calculate this, you will get the number of ways. Five and four, twenty. Twenty into three, sixty. Sixty into two, one twenty. One twenty into one twenty, which is nothing but twelve square. What is twelve square? One forty four. So one four four, and then one twenty one twenty means two zeros will be there. That's the answer. So. Fourteen thousand four hundred is the answer. So in that many ways we can arrange this word signature when you place vowels in odd positions below. Okay, that's it. Let's move on to the next question. Next question is: A box contains two white balls, three black balls, and four red balls. In how many ways can three balls be drawn from the box if at least one black ball is to be included in the draw? So there are certain balls. So two white balls, three black balls, and four uh, red balls are there. Out of which I am going to draw three. In that, at least one black ball should be there. So I am uh, I am taking three balls. In that, at least one ball means what are the possible ways? So there are three ways you can take. I can take one black ball, or two black ball, or All the three black balls for three balls. Okay, I have to draw three balls, so I have these three options. R means plus. We are going to add at the end. This possible. This is number of ways, or this many number of ways, or this many number of ways. So I am taking three black balls. Means in how many ways we can take three black balls? So three black balls means there are three black balls. I am taking all the three. That's it. Am I right? I am taking three black balls means all the three. So totally three black balls are there. From that I am taking all the three, which is nothing but three C three. Or if I am taking two black balls, two black balls means how many black balls are there? Three black balls are there. I am taking two, which means I have to take one more. I have to take only two. The remaining one ball should be taken from the remaining balls. Two white balls and four red balls. Totally, how many balls are there? Six. I have to take the remaining one ball from this six balls. Am I right? Next, if I am taking one black ball, means so I am taking one black ball from three black balls, which is nothing but three C one. The remaining two balls from the six balls. White and red together, six balls of there. I have to take the remaining two balls from that. So when you solve this, you will get the answer. Instead of all, what you are going to do? Plus at the end. Okay. So until then, we will solve. So three C one can be expanded as three one times three divided by one. Six C two is six into five divided by two into one. So you know the. Combination right? How will you expand the combination right? That's it. So R three C two is nothing but three into two divided by two into one, and six C one is six by one. Or three into two into one divided by three into two into one. So when you cancel this, what you will get? So I'm cancelling two with six. I'm getting three. Three into three into five. Three into three nine. Nine into five forty five. R R means nothing but plus. We know that R is plus and is multiplication that we have solved in principles of counting itself. Okay. Here I can cancel two two and the three into six eighteen R. So here everything will be get cancelled. So you will get one. So when you add all this forty five plus eighteen fifty. Fifty-three plus ten, sixty-three. Totally sixty-four. So that's it. So you can take three balls from these set of balls in sixty-four ways when you have at least one black ball. Okay, that's it. Let's move on to the next question. A group of four members to be selected from six boys and four girls. In how many different ways can they be selected such that at least one boy should be there? Same question, but here with members. Okay, at least one by means. What is the total number of persons should be taken? Four members. How many boys are there? Six boys are there. At least one by means. First, I'll take only one boy. 
second i will take two boys and the third three boys and then fourth four boys there are possibilities for taking all the boys all the four boys for four members okay at least one boy should be there okay we'll take so same like one boy or i can take two boys or i can take three boys or i can take all four members as boys okay if i am taking one boy means if i am taking one boy means what is the word i am taking one boy from six boys 6c1 into the remaining three members from the girls four girls out there i am taking three am i right or if i am not going with one boy i am going with two boys means what i will get 6c2 i am taking two boys out of six boys and the remaining two persons from four girls because totally i have to take four members that's it or i am going with three boys means 6c3 i am taking three boys from six boys and the remaining i have to take one girl to make four members in the group so which is from four okay at end all the four boys which is nothing but 6c4 okay when you solve this you will get the answer this r is nothing but plus at the end we will place that now expand this what you will get 6 divided by 1 into 4c3 is nothing but 4c1 we have already told you that if the taken value is higher than the half of the total value then you can interchange 4 minus 3 is 1 which is nothing but 4 by 1 you can take this as 4 by 1 anyway if you expand 4 into 3 into 2 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 so 3 2 3 2 will get cancel 4 by 1 will be there okay or 6 c2 is 6 into 5 divided by 2 into 1 into 4 into 3 divided by 2 into 1 or 6 c3 is 6 into 5 into 3 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 6 into 5 into 4 sorry so reduce it from 6 5 4 and 3 into 2 into 1 and 4 c1 is 4 by 1 or finally 6 into 4 5 into 4 into 3 divided by 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 this can be also changed into this is more than half right totally 6 more than half so you can change into 6c2 anyway you will get both answer same okay so i am cancelling now here i am getting 24 6 into 4 here r r is nothing but plus that is what we told you so here i am cancelling this with 3 times of 2 is 6 here 2 times of 2 is 4 3 into 5 15 15 into 2 30 30 into 3 90 next plus here cancelling 3 into 2 with 6 5 into 4 20 20 into 4 80 and finally here 4 3 will be get cancel and 2 with 6 Three times of two is six. So three into five, fifteen. Add all this, you will get the answer. Ninety plus eighty is one seventy. Am I right? So this is fifteen, not five. This is fifteen. That is what the value we get. Three into five. So ninety plus eighty is one seventy. One seventy plus fifteen is one eighty-five. One eighty-five plus twenty-four is so one eighty-nine plus twenty is. Okay, that's it. That's all the examples.